Adolf Gustav Seefeld, last name also spelled Seefeld, born March 6, 1870 in Potsdam. Guillotined in Schwerin on May 23, 1936, was a German serial killer. Life Early life born as the seventh and last child of his parents, Adolf was first trained as a locksmith then as a watchmaker who repaired grandfather clocks and pocket watches. He came to Lübeck in 1890 and married Katerina Seefeld, who divorced him in 1910. At the age of 19, his son was sent to a lunatic asylum for moral crimes. Seefeld is said to have been abused by two men at the age of 12. He was first imprisoned at 25 years for sexual harassment of a boy. Psychiatrists diagnosed him as mentally unstable, which is why he spent most of his life in mental hospitals and prisons. Serial Murders The Traveler and Watchmaker Adolf Seefeld, also called Sandman or, because of his profession, Uncle Tick Tock and Uncle Addy, abused and killed at least 12 boys during the reign of the Third Reich. As a crime scene he usually chose pine preservations, with one exception. A commonality was found in the victim's clothing, who consistently wore sailor suits. Since all children were sleeping peacefully and showed no signs of external violence, the police were mystified by the circumstances of death. It is therefore possible that Seafelt committed more murders that were considered natural deaths. Contemporary experts speculated that Seafelt had used his own homemade poison, chloroform or smothered his victims. According to Hans Pfeiffer, a well-known author of popular science books on authentic criminal cases, these theories were disproven with little effort. Pfeiffer suspected, however, that Seafelt had put his victims into a hypnotic sleep, then probably performed oral sex on them and let them lie asleep in the woods, where he failed to awaken them from hypnosis. The children later died of hypothermia, which Seafelt had accepted or intended. The victims his victims ranged from toddlers to 12-year-old boys. Kurt Nurk, April 16, 1933, Wolfgang Metzdorf, October 8, 1933, Ernst Haysdorf, November 2, 1933, Alfred Pretorius, November 12, 1933, Hans Korn, January 16, 1934, Gunter Tiski from Oranienburg, October 2, 1934, 11-year-old Erwin Wisniewski from Brandenburg, October 8, 1934, 4-year-old Artur Dill and 5-year-old Edgar Eipel Dittridge, October 16, 1934, both found in New Rupin, 10-year-old Hans Joachim Neumann, killed February 16, 1935, found on June 20, 1935, 10-year-old Heinz Zimmermann, February 23, 1935 and 11-year-old Gustav Thomas, March 22, 1935. The investigative authorities assumed that the actual number of casualties was much higher, possibly claiming up to 100 lives. Gustav Thomas case The lawyer Wilhelm Hollermann summed the murder case of 11-year-old Gustav Thomas, found in a pine forest near Wittenberg, that due to microscopic examinations, the bloodshot pressure indicated strangulation. The medical examiner Victor Muller Hay came in the murder trial against Seafelt with the claim that the murder victims were not poisoned, but instead strangled. Trial and execution The Schwerin jury under the chairmanship of the district court director Carl Friedrich Sargander and the advisory district court councils of Wilms and Wies consisted of Butcher Ernst Hahn from Krivitz, Secretary Wilhelm Schneeweiss from Schwerin, Ortsgrupp and Leiter Friedrich Jonke from Partim, Mayor Ernst Dub from Lussau, Engineer Otto Arpke from Luthien and City Councilor Kreis Leiter Burr from Ludwigslust, negotiating the case on January 21st. 1936. Chief Prosecutor was Wilhelm Busch, to whom Bishop Bernhard Schrader recalled in connection with the case of Vicar Leo Wimkr.in the presence of later war criminal and Reichstadt Thalter of Mecklenburg, Friedrich Hildebrandt, railed against the accused in order to justify the eradication of such behavior. Adolf Seefeld's defense lawyer was Rudolf Nudek. 
August Bruning, 1877-1965, was a participating expert in the trial. After the closing arguments of February 21st, the verdict for the murder cases was announced the following day. Seafelt was sentenced to death. According to the Niederdeutschen Beobachter, on February 29, 1936, Seafelt is to have brought in an appeal. Neither a revision nor revision procedure is historically documented. The judgment was enforced after legal force and refusal of the pardon occurred on May 23, 1936. The records of Seafelt's conviction are poor. In addition to newspaper reports of his execution, there are only two memory protocols of conversations conducted in April 1936 at his cell in Schwerin. The case of Adolf Seefeld was discussed by J. Fisher and Johannes Lang in the Monthly Journal of Forensic Biology and Penal Reform. Execution Earlier, the executioner Karl Groffler had visited the him and recognized the expected difficulty of the execution. Seefeld was allegedly eager to be beheaded next morning by the guillotine. Wrongful conviction in the course of the investigation of Seafelt's infanticides, a commercial traveler was wrongly convicted by the district prison court of Ludwig's Lust and hanged. References Literature Matthias Blazek, Executions in Prussia and the German Reich 1866-1945 Ibidem Verlag, Stuttgart 2010 ISBN 9783838201078 P. Botger, Dogs in the Service of the Criminal Police with Special Consideration of the Seafelt Murder Case. Leipzig 1937 Kirsten and Bruckula, Mordlust. Serial Murders, Violence and Emotions in the 20th Century. Campus Verlag, Frankfurt am Main 2006. ISBN 9783593382029 Auszugsweis online. Digitalis at Eric Ebermeyer. Uncle Tic Tac. The Boy Murderer Adolf Seefeld. In Robert A. Stemler HRSG. Sexual Crime, The New Pedaval. BD. 13. Munch and You. A. 1967, p. 1138 Jens Haberland. Adolf Seefeld, An Unsolved Mystery, in, there's, Serial Killers in the 20th Century, Berlin 1997, ISBN, 3-930057-38-7, p, 125-129, Hans Pfeiffer, The Sandman, Adolf Seefeld, 1933-1935, in, Wolfgang Schuller HRSG, Serial Murder in Germany. Leipzig 2005. ISBN 3-86189-729-6. S. 1636 online. S. 146 FF. Retrieved on May 30, 2014. Alexander. The Hunt for the Sandman. The trial of serial killer Adolf Seefeld began 80 years in Schwerin. Wandering clockmaker killed 12 boys. In Schweriner Volkszeitung, Mecklenburg Magazine, 29. January 2016, p. 24. Frank Reiner Schurich, Michael Stricker, The Serial Killer Adolf Seefeld and Modern Criminals. Verlag Dr. Koster, Berlin 2015. ISBN 9783895748752 Frank Reiner Schurich, Michael Stricker, The Beast from the Forest. Historical Criminal Case. Verlag Dr. Koster, Berlin 2015, ISBN 9783895748875. External Links Mysterious Murders. Adolf Seefeld www.planet-wissen.de Splendor and Misery of the German Criminal Police, The Mirror of November 24, 1949 and Carthen Kompisch, Libertine, Werewolves and Devils. Media Pictures of Serial Killers in the German Mass Media 1918-1945. Dissertation on the Dignity of Philosophy of the Subject Group Philosophy and History of the University of Hamburg. Hamburg 2008, especially p. 182.